So you basically have three different um, tide levels, if you will. Um, we'll call one of them a king tide, and that's when you have your uh, most water. Um, the tides are much higher, so it's like when it's covered the road downtown. Um, those are what you call king tides. Our average swing from low to high is about five and a half feet. So when you have these king tides, that's where you're talking about doing a six and a half or a seven foot at times uh, swing between low and high. So what that means is you have a lot of water coming in the same six hour span um, as you would as a regular tide, making it tougher to fish. So it's very important to pay attention to the tide. Um, that will also dictate where you're gonna fish. Um, you know, you really, when you have that much water, you're trying to find places that don't have as fast a moving current um, because those fish are not going to sit in a four or five knot current um, in an inlet on a king tide. Now, on a regular tide, you could pretty much fish anywhere. Um, you know, you have the right amount of current, you typically have cleaner water, um, things usually line up. And then you have the adverse effect is when you have a neap tide, and that's just when you have a slower moving tide. And so, you know, opposite of a king tide where I'm trying to lose or get away from the current, a neap tide, I may be trying to find current. You know, that's where it'll help. You know, you've got to have current to, uh, it really triggers the fish to bite a lot. So when you have that, that flow of water, it really helps. Now your regular and your neap tides will typically offer cleaner water. Your king tide is where it's just going to be super tough. Now, if you've got a fish on a king tide, other than finding places out of the current, you can also fish right around the change of the tide. You know, our tides change every six hours. So if low tide were at six in the morning, you'd have a high tide at 12. You know, maybe you fish the last two hours of the incoming or the first two of the outgoing, uh, but don't fish in the middle. In the middle of that swing is when it's going to be moving its fastest. And then you could use that to your advantage when you're fishing a neap tide. Maybe you're looking for more current. Maybe instead of fishing the last two of the incoming, um, you know, or outgoing, whatever it may be, maybe you fish the middle of that tide to find more current. Um, so again, tides just play a vital role in how good or bad the fishing can be. So it's just important to pay attention to that um, as it's really going to affect uh, how good it can be.